Hey, hi, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Blair. I am in school to become a registered dietitian. I have a few months left, but today I want to show you a few of my favorite meals, what I'm eating throughout the day, and my snacks, and then also just a look in my life in general. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching, like, and subscribe so you never miss a video with me, and let's get into it. Hello you guys, I just finished a workout. So I wanted to show you my post-workout breakfast smoothie. This is nothing new. I know this is a kind of repetitive, and I, but I'm just showing you what I eat. This is the easiest way for me to get in a lot of veg and fruit and protein first thing in the morning. So, frozen bananas. I do about half of one. This is just frozen spinach that I put in a plastic bag. I reuse these bags as well. I just get it from the store, and then when it's about to go bad, I just throw them here. Frozen blueberries, um, just some, any almond milk, unsweetened, any protein powder. Oh, got a little text message. I added some spirulina today and then just some Vital Protons. We love her. And we blended it up. It tastes really good, but it's also just really good to get some veg and some fruit right after a workout and obviously your protein. First thing in the morning, it starts you off on a good start and it tastes really good as well. Yay. My dinner tonight, you guys, is freaking bomb it's gonna be so good so oh, i'm excited to share with you and y'all probably saw it on my instagram if you follow me on instagram i am back on instagram you guys holy shit just my name blair cooley follow me if you want i post all real time recipes on my stories all i'm really doing is stories right now i'm, I'm not really a big like fan of just one-on-one -on -one photo shoots of myself like i don't know it just stresses me out to think about like posing and trying to look good every day i just don't want to do that so I'm on stories right now, but I post a bunch every day of everything I'm eating, favorite products. It's basically YouTube, but in real time. It's almost like it's instant. Like Instagram. All right, anyway, that's my spiel. All right, I'm gonna eat this. See you. So for lunch today, I'm just gonna make up a quick tuna salad because I don't really have a lot of time. So this is a way to get some high protein in and also some vegetables. On the cutting board, I have some bell peppers, celery, Onion and then my favorite all-time pickles if you know you know if you follow me on Instagram I talk about these an embarrassingly amount So that's what's going in. We have some chopped parsley Some I'm gonna do for like the sauce or like the mayo in a usual tuna salad I'm gonna do half avocado half Chobani yogurt and just kind of mix and taste I will add some salt and pepper and some seasonings as well Based on taste I'm gonna add some capers for some brininess some lemon juice for some freshness, and then I'm gonna eat them with these grain breads from Trader Joe's. So that is what we're doing. I'm literally just gonna mix all this together. <laughs> it's not rocket science, guys. There's no recipe at all. I just, this is what I have in my fridge and pantry, and that's what's going down. All right, here is the finished product on a crisp bread. Here is the whole can of tuna. I did half of a teeny tiny avocado from Trader Joe's, so it's a pretty small avocado, so just half of that. Probably like a fourth cup of Chobani Greek yogurt. Um, mixed it up, I, you could add more or less, depending on how like liquidy you want it. Um, I did half a lemon. I also added some fresh cracked black pepper, and then also on top, I just did a little seasoning of the everything but the bagel seasoning for, as like the salt aspect in it. I didn't add any extra salt, because with the pickles and the capers and the tuna, there's already salt. So that is the final product. I'm gonna probably have two or three of these. I'll probably finish all of this. I also am snacking, snacking on some pineapple as well. So that is going to be my lunch. Very quick, I'm not even joking. It took me like three minutes to throw this together. And that is what we're having. Snack time, best time. <laughs> oh my God, somebody help her. I'm just having some raw almonds. I usually just like a little handful. And then I also like these just mango. These are unsweetened, unsulfured. So it's literally just the mango. They do sell sweetened ones, so just be careful when you're buying that. You don't need the extra sugar, I promise. 
Um, it's just a really good combo because this is really sweet and these kind of balance it out. These are just raw, so it's nice to have a little other texture added and some other flavors. This is like a very typical snack for me. Nuts and a fruit, like I'll do either some almonds or like pumpkin seeds, cashews, and then either fresh fruit or dried fruit, whatever I really am in the mood for. And that's basically it. I'll probably have like two or three slices of this. They're just little slices in there. And you can buy uh, dried mango anywhere. And you can buy raw almonds anywhere. These aren't just Trader Joe's specific. I get a lot of comments saying, like, I don't have a Trader Joe's by me. And that's, I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm just kidding. You can get this stuff at a lot of places, so. Look at Herman. Hi, he's always right by me, right, Bubba? Do you guys like my socks? It's sushi. It says, you make me soy happy. It's, it's funny. It's funny, okay? It's funny. Anyway, all right. So that I should tell you. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are making... A Greek, it's kind of like a pizza, but I feel like it's gonna be more like a flatbread. So we have this cauliflower crust from Trader Joe's, but they sell frozen cauliflower crust, I feel like basically everywhere now. And I'm just using some vegetables that we had in our fridge, some mushrooms, onion, and then we had some artichoke hearts left over from the Greek salads that we like to make. I get the ones in the can, just in water. Um, yeah, they sell them in olive oil too, but I always try to get just some water. So those are sauteing. I have the oven preheating right now to 450. I'm gonna use my obsession garlic dip as the base, then just crumble some feta. I wish I had Kalamata olives, but all we have are these. It should be fine. And that's basically what's happening. You can see he's got some good color on him, just caramelizing. I wish I had a balsamic glaze. I thought we did, and I don't have that anymore, so. I don't know. I would just like drizzle that over the top of it, but I'm still thinking. Okay, so I am about to put the pizza crust in. This pizza crust is like is more extra than me and it needs to be uh, cooked twice before you can put anything on it. We're gonna cook it like 10 minutes I think on one side, 10 minutes on the other. I put it on the oven rack so it's just lifted up so it gets a little crispier. And then I broil mine as well. And don't worry you guys, I found <laughs> You can see I found the balsamic glaze and then I also decided I want to save those olives for martinis And I'm just gonna use capers instead that we had in the fridge That is where we're at. I'm gonna pop it in. So I just flipped it <laughs> It was in there for 12 minutes on one side flipped it 12 minutes on the other. I know it takes for freaking ever I don't know and then I'll show you how I put it all together Okay we just pulled the pizza or the crust out. So now I'm going to in with the garlic dip. Again, a lot of my ingredients are from Trader Joe's, but you can get a lot of this stuff at other places. If you don't have garlic dip, you could do tzatziki dip or uh, just mozzarella cheese. You know, there are no rules. I'm just literally taking out what we have in our pantry and fridge and using it. So I'm just gonna just treat it like it's um, just like an Italian pizza. So like if this was the red sauce. Okay, then we're going to just put on the sauteed vegetable. Crumble up some feta cheese. I'm gonna do some. Some capers. These capers are just gonna add like a really nice brininess. Also, if you wanted to add meat to this, you could do like uh, some chicken thigh or gyro meat, but I'm just not doing any meat tonight. And then I'm just gonna top it with some Italian seasoning. So it looks like. Okay. And it's just until the ingredients melt is the final product just pulled it out it was about three or four minutes on broil but not five <laughs> two. not two every oven's difference just watch it because broil don't sit, not mess around you could easily burn this mess around. <laughs> mess around i also topped it with a little balsamic glaze and a little extra virgin olive oil and bada bing bada boom that's all i got for you i'm <laughs> not mad can you cut this you need to cut it. 
Alright. Delish. Okay, so for dinner, dessert tonight, we're doing our apple nachos. I've shown this before, but we're making it a little different. I always just use what we have in the pantry. So I have two Honeycrisp apples, some Lily's Stevia sweet and chocolate chips, some natural peanut butter. It's better when it's natural because it's going to drizzle easier. If you've ever noticed, natural peanut butter is really like oily, like watery. So it drizzles nicely. And then instead of granola, this is what we have on hand. Just some blueberry lemon clusters. Special K. So that'll be the little crunch factor on it. You could also add like coconut or crumble up some like rice cakes on there. You can do a ton of different things. So that is how we're gonna finish the night. Here, this is the final product. I started eating them and then I forgot. I remembered I forgot to show you. So delish. <laughs>